My good people at the 254 and beyond, how are you doing? What is popping? It is a brand new month. Absolutely, man. It's a brand new month and we are fully reloaded. Ba, 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 Absolutely. Ba, 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 ba. We are loving it. And the fact that we are just into <laughs> this long holiday that is still ongoing. Yani mm -hmm. sherehe in a tandiko kuinze. Watu wana tuwa api pesa? Fresh barri. Sumi peni watu wana tuwa pesa. Ya sherehe, hata bini wa join sherehe kila siku. Man, so long as you got friends, eh? Mm. Niku pull up to na wezi. Where's it hey. eh? <laughs> Anywho, we are beginning the, the hey. show and you do not want to miss any bit of it. My name is Vivian Dagoa. You can simply just call me Miss V. Jack Muller, the Pachi Daddy. I'm going to call you Papi. Papi. I don't know what this right here is. Grapevine, baby. Pa. What you gotta do? We kickstart the show with some jazz music. Now, International Jazz Music Day is normally celebrated on the 30th of April every year. Now, this particular day is just for jazz enthusiasts to enjoy and celebrate this beautiful genre. Absolutely. Now, we prepared a special feature for all the jazz lovers. When you hear jazz musicians like George Gashwin say things like life is like jazz, it's best when you improvise, or Miles Davis saying, I'll play it and tell you what it is later, then you realize that to listen to jazz is to witness pure self-expression. Music has the power to raise our fortunes as well as our spirits, and this is what the highlight jazz event of the calendar, the Safaricom International Jazz Festival, has always been about. Last Friday, the world marked International Jazz Day, which celebrates and highlights the importance of jazz music and its ability to unite people from different cultures in various parts of the world. This year, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the International Jazz Day celebration will transition from sunny skies and picnic blankets to a no-show. Since 2014, the Safaricom International Jazz Festival has been a notable fixture in the Kenyan music calendar as part of the festivities that mark International Jazz Day. Every year since inception, the festival has brought together a brilliant lineup of world renowned jazz artists who have headlined the festival. These are Richard Bona, Jonathan Butler, Branford Marsalis. David Sanborn, Manu Dibango, and Masekela, the late jazz maestro described by many as one of the finest horn players in the world. Mm -hmm. 
Not only has the International Jazz Festival introduced and brought talented jazz musicians from all over the world to Kenya, it has helped to nurture local jazz artists who have had the opportunity to entertain jazz enthusiasts and share a stage with some of these award-winning musicians. Each year, as Kenyans continue to dance, sing along and make merry at the annual Safaricom International Jazz Festival, Children from Ghetto Classics, a community-based program that exposes unprivileged youth to classical music and live jazz, benefit from the proceeds. Since the launch of the festival in 2014, the program has benefited and transformed the lives of more than 1,500 children living in Korogocho, Dandora, Mukurukwa Ruben, and Huruma. The Ghetto Classics also partners with some primary schools in Nairobi and Mombasa. And while we cannot indulge in joyful sounds this year from International Jazz Festival, we live in the hope that next year things will be back to normal.